Well, summer vacation is over for some JPS students as they head back to school, Keegan. Marcus, they are headed back today. Ranking in Madison County Schools started last week. The Vicksburg Warren School District is also headed back to class today. Warren County Public Schools start tomorrow. Hines County classes resume Wednesday and Clinton schools begin Friday. JPS Superintendent Cedric Gray says he has goals for the upcoming school year and the 30,000 students expected to return. We're going to begin to focus like a laser on some very important uh, topics, uh, wildly important goals. Uh, the number one goal, though, is academic performance and achievement for our students. And uh, the goal number two is to increase average daily attendance for our scholars and for our staff. And number three is also to recruit and retain high quality staff and educators. Today, JPS and schools nationwide are calling on fathers or male caregivers to take their kids to school on their first day. It's part of the initiative called the Million Father March to get fathers and other male role models more involved in kids' schoolwork. Well, police are urging drivers to keep an eye out for students and buses while on the roads. 16 WAPT Sadas Brown joins us live from Power APAC Elementary with the warning. Hadas. Hey, Keegan, we are starting to see the signs of the day getting closer to kicking off. They just turned the lights on out here at Power APAC a couple minutes ago, and we have seen some staff and students starting to head up to the door. But, of course, this means as those tens of thousands of kids are heading back into the classroom, hundreds of buses will be out on the roads. Now, JPD is warning people that they're going to come down hard on drivers who don't respect school bus safety. That means if you see that bus stop sign extended, you better stop or they'll give you a ticket. And you see that stop sign go out, regardless of which direction you're going in, you are obliged to stop. And if you do not stop, you're in violation of the law. Another warning the chief is telling people do not speed in school zones. He advises everybody to get up and leave a few minutes early for the next couple weeks to account for that extra back to school traffic. Live in Jackson, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. Okay, thanks, Hadas. And there are also heat concerns for students this morning. Let's check back in again with Brittany Bell. That's right, Keegan. We're gearing up for another day of dangerous heat out there with temperatures expected to exceed the triple digits. I know we say this all the time, but it's important just to stay smart and use common sense. Now, some parents are concerned about sending their kids off to school with the high heat we've been dealing with. With the 100 degree temperatures, it's important to make sure kids stay well hydrated. For a Gatorade, Powerade, and water uh, to try to get the uh, the uh, nutrients that we need to keep from uh, falling out, I guess. I actually play for the football team, and you know they encourage that we go home and drink lots of water, drink plenty of food, so we have energy and plenty of hydrated. So. Uh, nobody's passing out during practice. Again, we're expecting a high of 103 degrees with much hotter real fill temperatures. So remember to put an extra bottle of water or Gatorade in your kid's backpack, especially if they have some outdoor practice after school. All right, Brittany, and we do want to see your back-to-school pictures. All you have to do is upload them to the U Local section of WAPT.com.